Hi, my name is Billy Schoenberg, and I'm a developer at IC Systems. And today what I want to do is I want to talk to you about creating graphical functions um, in Stella Modeler for the iPad. So for those of you who don't know, a graphical function allows a modeler to define a relationship between an input and an output without the use of an equation. So to learn about this concept today, we're going to work on a population model. So I'm going to open up the population model by tapping on it in the list. And you'll see here that I've got a very simple population model with births and deaths. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to simulate the model. So to simulate it, I press the Simulate button in the upper right-hand corner, and then I tap on the Run button in the lower left-hand corner. This runs my model, which shows me exponential growth constantly increasing over time. This behavior isn't really um, what you would expect in a system, um, and what you'd really expect is that uh, the population would run up into what's known as the, as the carrying capacity. So what we're going to do is we're going to modify this model using a graphical function to add in the concept of carrying capacity. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by editing the model by tapping the edit button in the upper right hand corner of the screen and then using the toolbar uh, on the lower left hand portion of my screen I'm going to tap on the converter icon, the circle, and then tap again on the canvas to create a variable. So you see here that it's popped up the keyboard and it's going to allow me to name this new variable. So let's name this variable the carrying capacity. Next, what we need to do is we need to create another variable, which is going to be our lookup table, which is going to be the effect of carrying capacity on the average lifespan. So again, I tap the converter icon, the circle, in the toolbar in the lower left-hand portion of the screen, and then tap again on the canvas to create the next variable. So this is the effect of carrying capacity on average lifespan. Great. So now what we want to do is we want to draw the connectors that hook all of this up and then we'll go ahead and we'll define the equations. So to draw a connector, we go to the toolbar at the lower left-hand portion of our screen again, and we tap, uh, we tap on the connector. We then tap and hold on carrying capacity, keeping our finger on the screen as we drag the connector towards effective carrying capacity on an average lifespan. Once the arrowhead is over the converter, we release our finger, and it'll draw us the connection. So now carrying capacity is hooked to the effective carrying capacity on average lifespan. Let's go through that process again to link population. So we tap on the, uh, con uh, the connector item in the toolbar on the lower left-hand portion of the screen. We press and hold on population, dragging the connector out to the converter that we want to connect it to, and release our finger from the screen. And finally, the effect of carrying capacity on average lifespan is going to affect the average lifespan. So we draw another connector. So now you can see that we have three warning symbols. These warning symbols mean that the equation for these elements is not fully defined. So let's go ahead and tap on, double tap on carrying capacity to enter in an equation. So for this system, the carrying capacity, let's say, is a thousand individuals. Next, let's define the effect of carrying capacity on average lifespan. So let's double tap on that converter and it brings us to the equation editor and this here is where we define the input into the graphical function. So the input into this function is the population over the carrying capacity. So this is going to be a number that ranges anywhere from around 0 to something like 1, maybe 1 1.2, something like that. So let's define the graphical function now for this um, input. We do that by pressing on the graphical button on the upper right hand portion of the screen and then tapping again on the switch on the upper right hand portion of the screen to turn on the graphical function for this converter. When I tap that switch, it shows me the graphical function editor, which is composed of a graph, which I can then use my finger to draw behavior, or a set of presets, which I can choose, which allow me to define the default behavior. So I chose this preset by tapping on the exponential uh, decay function in the lower left-hand corner of the presets box. 
Finally, I have a list of all of the points on the left-hand portion of the screen, their x and y values. So in this case, uh, the effect of the carrying capacity on the average lifespan is going to follow a shape very similar to this. So now let's go back to the equation, which shows us again our input. So this input is going to be used as the value on the x-axis of our graphical function. So let's go back to the graphical function here for a moment. That the calculated value from that equation is going to be looked up along the x-axis between 0 and 1 and produce for us a value at the corresponding point on the y-axis between 0 and 1. So finally, let's complete the equation in average lifespan. We double tap on the average lifespan, which right now is defined as 80 years, and we're going to multiply that by the effective carrying capacity on average lifespan. At this point now, we can go back to the model by pressing the Back to Model button in the upper left-hand portion of the screen, and uh, hitting the Simulate button in the upper right-hand portion, and then Run button in the lower left. You can see that we've changed our uh, exponential function into an S-shaped growth curve, which levels out at the carrying capacity.